go for Ninja. Hey. Um, Ninja's done mischief on himself recently. Um, he's hurt his lower back. Um, so we're just going to do a, a treatment, an assessment and treatment and see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about... What yeah, yeah. so on? it happened, it's Thursday today, it happened on Monday night, so I went down to the bottom of the squat, I felt it popping, and like a, it was a real deep fascial kind of stretch separation type of release type of thing, and um, yeah, so it was acute, I suppose, like there's pain on movement, but it's kind of, it's not too bad at the same time, so um, it's worse when I'm sitting and um, we're, I haven't moved for a while. So does it hurt just... Standing up, or nah, it's all right. So, so it's, it's pretty good. I've, I've done a, a fair bit of fixing already, and okay. um, um, so it's down low, but I can really sense that it's right in close, like in the multifidus and rotator. Is, so is it on both sides? Both sides, more on the right, so I can feel it right into the L4, L5, onto the, the sacrum. Um, yeah, so it's it's right into these sort of spots. So yeah. that's where intuitively I feel it, it feels really good and um, helpful. And um, yeah, it's sort of um, probably not what is normal, but intuitively I've done this so many times on people, and it gives a lot of relief because it's it's getting to the source of where that is blocked and it's not free and it's yeah. trapping nerves and things like that. So does it hurt when you bend over? Or is it <laughs> no, so. The, Hasn't been hurting so much going forward, but compression, so going back, I can feel it when I go backwards. So I've been actually trying to do some cobras and to just to try and free it up and, and just, yeah, and just sort of assess how I'm going as well. Like mm -hmm. just stay tuned in and aware of how the body's functioning. And, yeah. Um, so one thing I really want to talk about just before we start as well, like for me, I was looking at the metaphysics. So, um, so I don't, don't think this is a, an accident. So it's, um, for me, like lower back represents support. And if, you, you know, if you're supporting things too much or not getting enough support, you can have back problems. But so a lot of it's about power as well, your backbone. So um, lower, lower, yeah. yeah. As well. So your spine. Pacing, pace of the spine. Yeah, the so if, if you're feeling disempowered at all, or maybe you need a lesson in being disempowered to let other people support you to receive these kind of things. So I was kind of toying with these little kind of conceptual things with my own life and what I needed to perhaps do and, um, you know, receive and things like that. So, and the other little thing I was thinking as well, is like when you're wounded, it's, it's nice to have another human support you and nurture you and, and try and help it out, you know? It's a, there's a magic in that. There is a magic in that. There, yeah. there are some things that we can't do by ourselves. Yeah. Like human beings mm. as, as organisms, yeah. we're better in groups, right? Yeah. We, we need each other. Yeah. We need to help each other. Mm. And, yeah. and so that we can't do everything by ourselves. Yeah. Now, even though the greatest guru, he goes to someone for help. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody has this part of the human process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's um, reaching out, you know, for support, and nurturing. Yeah, I think that's nice. I've just I've, um, realized that as well. I give give a lot of this sort of treatment, so it's nice to receive it. And and that's another thing that I've really kind of topped up my empathy um, for people that have um, hurt themselves or are in pain and suffering and things like that. So I've actually um, refreshed myself on that because I have had a lot of pain. You know, in the body, in my life, but it's sort of I have just a memory. Yeah, it's yeah. just a memory because I've fixed it. I'm I'm good, but it's got a little yeah, and little, another lesson, so another throughout, experience throughout and, life. And this isn't just physically, but throughout mm -hmm. life, we have those those periods of progression, and we have these little spikes and drops. So it's, mm. that's a necessary part of the growth journey, I guess. Mm. Cool. You want to get into it? Yeah, let's try. <laughs> So yeah, had a bit of pain just doing that. Yeah, it's just pulling him straight down. <laughs> yeah, he's not afraid. Not afraid of the long one. <laughs> That's it. So is one side worse than the other? So or? it was a little bit more on the right. So yeah, just in there, mm -hmm. like um, it would be good, and, and yeah, just explore around. And, and if you don't mind, I'll um, guide you a little bit and yeah, tell sure. you, tell you the where the gold is. Yeah, and sort of, 
Uh, yeah, I can kind of give you my intuition and insights. You know, using that the pain sensations as valuable information that we can um, go on the leads and uh, locate exactly where I'd like some um, to be pushed and held and um, yeah, wait for the for melt to happen. Mm -hmm. so. so we're just going to use some different tools um, to try and get into some different different parts of the tissues around the, the spine. And you're just saying that a lot of it is happening right in close. So you're gonna use a lot of thumb here just to get in between those processes. Just get right up against the spine. I know we yeah. talk about the money spot, which is further down, but here we're just trying to slide in between. Yeah. And just sink in against that spine. Yeah, so that feels good there. So you can kind of we direct you just a little bit in right into the side of that. Soften a little bit for you and then you want to actually push into the side of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay around there, bro. That's it. Oh fuck, I'm getting a bit of a cramp. Here. Mm -hmm. It's good. But yeah, if you can stay around there for a little bit, yep. park there and then try and get some Get some wiggle action. Some wiggle, some jiggles, and go, but direct it into the into the side of that. Yeah, in the side yeah. of the spinal process, because that's where I'm caught up. That's where I'm blocked. That's where I need a little bit of help to make the flow happen again. Yeah, like that. That's good. As soon as you hit that, registers in my brain as being therapeutic, helpful, and. Um, I'm going to be better for it afterwards. I just know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. in there, bro. So, yeah. So, go back in towards the spine again. That's it, connect here. Yeah, yeah, in there. Yeah, that's a really good one. So that's kind of the most intense so far, but give it give it a little bit more curry. Yeah. <laughs> that's intense, so go harder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it. Get in there. He's not afraid. Nah. Push in, push in. Down there, how's that feeling? Um, are you talking about this hand coming up here or? No, just in general, those. Uh, um, that, there's no real. No real uh, curry there. No. Nah. Sort of, I can really, yeah, when you're connecting kind of close to the bone, I can feel that's therapeutic, but when you're away from the bone, there's no actual. Feels further away, feels. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no dysfunction further out. So it's all kind of yeah, right in there. Yeah, is a good spot. So yeah, just park there a little bit, and then just try and weave in, push in closer into that spine, and yeah, in like that, in like that. That's it. Good. That's it. Well, that's a good, 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 good. On there, that feels good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. So the thumb is really good in this instance because it's a sharper tool and it can get into these smaller spaces, but there's also a kind of limit to the amount of force that you can use. So, and that's, that's, yeah, that's a really good thing when you've got um, a fresh kind of injury as well, is being able to manage um, the pressure. So yeah. I'm just going to try the um, elbow. Yeah. Go a bit more broad. Anything there? Not so much, it's just sort of. 
Yeah, you like it you right get, in, don't you? Yeah, if you get it in close to the spine, that's sort of key. Money spot's got a little. But yeah, it can take some more. Yeah, that feels therapeutic when you get in close there, man. So that's good. Just, just stay there for a bit. Stay there because it will just sort of give. Once you kind of persist, it'll get the understand what you're encouraging to do and just melt. So do you, would you feel like m most of your pain is further down or further up? No, just right where you are. So right on it. And just a little bit above it, a little bit below it. Okay. But that's probably, feels like a the central. The centre? Yeah. Well, that's what, that's what we're going for, isn't it? Yeah. We want to be the centre of the universe. Yeah. yeah. Right in the middle. Get rid of that central one and all the other stuff that's stemmed from it. Yeah. Clears as well. Peripheral. Yeah. So if you can kind of get you out of there, just slightly more into the spine. Yeah. Just loves it. Yeah. And just, yeah, right in these kind of things, wiggle and shake it. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. It's good. Yeah. Feels good, huh? Feels good, huh? <laughs> it's great day to be alive. Yeah, that's it. Fully in. <laughs> Just let it go. But Not fully, fully out. out. Not fully out, but fully in. But fully in. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Good, good, good. Good, brother. He yeah. loves it. He yeah. loves it hard. Yeah. <laughs> he does, he loves it deep. He's a sick unit, this guy. Yeah. No point fucking around. I was gonna get it done. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good man. Yeah, I suppose that's a good point there. Like everybody's got their own um, level that they're willing to go to. So I guess part of this work is. Um, uh, having the awareness and, and finding out where that point is, where that boundary is. We're trying to make change here, we're trying to improve the situation, so we want to go as deep as possible, but as deep as possible without getting that guarding and that blocking, that defensive sort of physical thing that's response that's going on. So, you know, everybody's point is different, but we're going to try to go to that comfortable limit and maybe a little bit further, just stretching that little bit in development. You want to you know, just go, just go past that comfort zone. So, no different here. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, it's good. So yeah, keep on going over that sacrum, man. Yeah, we'll go, go a bit. Yeah. Bit of gold down there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Use our one liner. Go to that little mountain range. <laughs> <laughs> go to the mountain range. Yeah, the broke back mountain. Dear, oh dear. Don't know where it comes up with this junk. Oh, that's good. I've got a crack. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Gold. Getting to the precipice. There's gold in them there, hills. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. That feels good. Stay connected, man. That's it. You're on a mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. That feels a little bit like a minty. It feels like you've got the tissues, um, got some density to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, it feels nice. Yeah. The body tells us. Could it interpret the sensations, interpret the pains. And uh, you know if they're creating more trauma or they're relieving, you know, dispersing it, putting it into bite-sized parts so we can process it and mm. 
Yeah. Let it go. It's intuitive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good line. Yeah. It feels wholesome. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I always say that as a practitioner, um, it just feels really good. You know, it yeah. feels like you're, feels right. you're in a wholesome yeah, yeah. position when you hit that that good tissue. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and your tools, they <laughs> fit snugly into these little nooks and crannies, these crevices, and it just you feel like you really want to hold it. Yeah. You know, and wait, and wait on it. No. It's meant yeah. to be. Yeah, it's it, it's really good. Down that middle line there when you kind of pull into your push away from yourself a little, yeah, that's sort of right into that. That feels really good. Yeah. You can feel that kind of down fraction lower going into my glute a little. Yeah, that's cool. We're investigators, mm. detectives, trying yeah, to find. Yeah, that's exactly right. Detective. Go to the most um, biggest block, the biggest pain first, and then kind of see where that little journey takes you. You kind of takes you off on little leads and mm. other little trails, and that are interesting and important that you can just sort of tell and yeah, get the job done by just tuning into that, honouring those messages. Yeah. And I suppose those messages. Yeah, it's interesting. The messages. That from you as well so yeah um it's your physical sensation and what's going on but it's, it's also your words how you're touching yourself through the assessment process yes yeah. giving me information how you're moving the way you're vocalizing this is all information this is all yeah. clues yeah, yeah who's got <laughs> yeah. clues as to what's going on mm. i think we've talked about it before but it, it's it's really nice to be a team like not just be worked on by somebody that's a superior that feels like they're I'm going to go above. to the doctor and yeah. the doctor's going to tell me what's wrong. Yeah, and then you, the mind really, you know, it works with that. If you, if they say you're doomed, you are. You know, if you're positive and you feel like you're, you're fixed because of the process you've just been through, you will be. Mm. So, but if you you can be involved actively in the process of healing yourself, mm -hmm. so much more empowering, you know, and it's satisfying both sides because they the practitioner knows they've done the right job, the right work at the right time. But with with any um, therapeutic work, any any modality, it's always a partnership. You know, it's always um, both parties have to be willing. Uh, have to you know jam in a certain way, connect and, and be on the same page. You know we have to find out what another person is willing to do. How are they um, you know, building that trust so you can go on that exploration together? You know yeah, it's yeah. definitely a, a partnership. Yeah, yeah. And you can what you can achieve together is so much more than what you can do individually. Yeah, it's powerful. Yeah, trust is the vital ingredient because you. You just don't just want anybody working on you. You don't want a stranger, that someone that you don't know. You don't kind of know their their intentions. You know, it's sort of it's really good to be able to connect and then um, relax with that. You know, and just know that they're gonna do what's right for you, what's best for you. Yeah, actually listen as well. Yeah, pay attention and and. Um you know, it's fun. I hear so many clients come in and say, oh, I've, I've said this, I've seen physios or doctors or whatever, and um, I've said this is my problem, and they haven't touched it. They haven't yeah. gone near it. Yeah. It seems like um, uh, they don't, a, lot of, a lot of practitioners aren't paying attention, you know, it's really yeah. tuning in, really being, being present to, to the needs mm. of that individual, you know, not seeing it as a... As a script or as a routine, but as a you know, as yeah. a person, as a dynamic, mm -hmm. multifaceted, multidimensional human being that, that you know is intelligent and knows their own body, yeah. respects that. Yeah, we say the the person is the house. They know their house. They live in the house. They're experienced in the house. They know where the dysfunction is, where the block is. So their intu intuition is true. Oh, on that sake, it's good, man. It's good just there. 
It's called the plumber. When you can't unblock yourself, you know, you need some help, you need some support, you need some a push. You need to clean that clean, clean that area that you Yeah. A bit of help organizing, you know. Oh, it's good there, man. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Yes. Clearing the vessel. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Uh, it's interesting. We have stuckness in our body, you know, dysfunction, and it stops us being our, our the, the best version of ourself, you know. So it really is a cleaning process. Let, letting things go, releasing things, clearing yeah. things out so that we can be the, the fullest, most vibrant version of ourselves. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's like organizing it as well, I reckon, like so you can kind of un get a full understanding, get see a lot of different perspectives on the same uh, same thing. Mm. And then it's kind of it's got its place. So you it's sort of not you don't have an emotional charge around it anymore because you're not only seeing one side. Those emotional charges get dissipated when you can see the advantages, the, the opportunities, you know, in that situation, in that pain. So even when you've got pain, there is opportunities. There's, you know, you can, um, there's so much stuff you can do in this life with the, you don't need the physical body. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, you can study, you can, you know, rest, you can receive, you know, receive some nurturing, you know, figure out what you want to do. There's a reflection time, things like that. And so a lot of times life makes you balance, you know, when you haven't done it kind of consciously. So it makes you stop. And that's kind of the benefit of a little injury, you know. Take it as a, a tap on the shoulder rather than a slap around the face, you know. Sure. The body communicating with you. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like um, a lot of people have a disconnection from their body as well, uh, and it's just, I think I guess it's a cultural thing. We we talk about you know prob problems and issues with our, as if we're detached from it, as if it's somehow some external entity that we've you know and, um, taking ownership, taking responsibility, and understanding that you know it's a part of us. Is it an important part of it? Yeah, in closer. Maybe do one more run and all. Oh, good, good. Ah, yeah. It's been interesting through this treatment. I feel like some spasming. I was felt this spasm up there. And was, yeah, there's probably something up there to, yeah. to work on. Yeah. Just a response to the the push. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. Whenever you're kind of really connecting in with it, it's fucking just know it's therapeutic. It's good. What do you say? Let's test her out. You want to get up? Yeah, let's get up and have a look. Oh, yeah, come out slow. <laughs> yeah, feels different. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah, I can tell. Good. Come over here. So it is deep work. So Ninja, you can see it's a bit spacey. Had his head down, but it's um, this work is pretty heavy, so it'll it can bring things up and make you feel a little bit groggy sometimes. There's nothing there. There's not nothing. There's absolutely no grabbing that I had before. It just feels like I'm being oiled, <laughs> like internally oiled. Yeah. Run, brother. <laughs> Thanks, man. Welcome. Done. Good. Good. Serious.
Yeah, yeah. Good fix. Yeah. When you were when you're kind of that far away, you know, that far away from the yeah. spine, nothing. Yeah. No connection, no therapeutic sensation of of sort of sensing nothing's changing. Mm-hmm. As soon as you went that much quick close up, it was yeah, I just right. knew. Very hard contact too. Mm. Very yeah. hard. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, you're familiar with the work, obviously, mm. and you, you get treated quite a lot. But, but I'm more a connoisseur of it, you know, because I've been. Yes. This is 20 years yes. of my focus. Yeah. You know, of, you know, what's what fixes what works. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. I, I know. Uh, everybody has their own level of resistance, I guess. So. Mm. Yeah, I was yeah. I'm keen to. You are have, definitely keen. Have it done. Get it out. Yeah. I'm locked. Plumbed. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, man. Next.